my uh, desire, or I guess inkling to become a priest, uh, started probably when I was in my high school years. Uh, I was very active in my home parish as a altar server, but beyond that, uh, I got to know the priests that happened to be serving there over the years, and was able to do odd jobs from them. Also got to know the, who was then the auxiliary bishop of our diocese, who eventually became the bishop. Uh, unfortunately, he died of cancer before I was ordained. Uh, and what I noticed, they seemed to enjoy what they were doing, and you know, it left a profound mark on me. Uh, now, the interesting thing is I didn't go right into the seminary following uh, high school. I started studying engineering, <laughs> and I after a year or two of that, uh, I couldn't get the thought out of my mind uh, that I was being uh, drawn towards the priesthood. So after I finished my undergraduate uh, university degree, ended up in the seminary, and uh, seven years later, I was ordained a priest. And I look back at uh, my drinking drinking career, I guess you'd say, but you know, my initial introduction to alcohol would have been in the family home. I'm a, uh, of Polish background, and that Eastern European uh, thought that, uh, you know, when you're younger, you can have a drink of wine or whatever at special times, and that really wasn't a problem at the beginning, but I, I looking back now, I notice when I was a teenager, that I could always drink more than uh, any of my friends, and you know, literally was able to drink them under the table, and I should have known there was a problem back then, but I just seemed to have a higher tolerance for alcohol than other people, what I would call normal people, and uh, eventually took off on me. I was a workaholic, and I, I near the end I was finding that uh, it's given me a little added boost, but then it eventually caught up to me that uh, instead of being a help, it was becoming a hindrance uh, to me. And I'm grateful to Guest House for uh, giving me the tools and the ongoing support. Uh, you no, know, I didn't, wasn't sure what recovery was going to be like, uh, but I've made a conscious uh, effort to keep in touch. Uh, with you know, people at guest house and different events that they offer, but also been able to get to know personally uh, many of those that are continue to work in the addiction field and those that are uh, counselor, those that are uh, in management with the uh, treatment center, and they continue to be supportive to me. Life has become a lot better. Uh, since I've stopped drinking, I'm still very active uh, in recovery. I still continue to uh, go to four to five AA meetings a week. I happen to be the manager of a full-time AA place in my hometown uh, called The Club, and uh, it's ground zero for alcoholics and addicts in the area that there's AA meetings there seven days a week, morning and evening. Cocaine Anonymous uh, meets there twice a week in addition to Gamblers Anonymous. And I've been the manager of the place for the last three and a half years when they were having some problems and was basically handed to me, you're the priest in the room, you can handle that. And uh, I found that it has really um, helped me in my own ministry, uh, especially those that are often forgotten about, the, as I would refer to them, the little ones in the flock. But, all of us in recovery are. Uh, God has a great love for the alcoholic and the addict. Uh, when everybody else seems to be abandoned, God's there to help you. In addition to that, uh, I also happen to be the Canadian Carnival priest, so I get to attend to another flock of uh, people often forgotten about. And uh, I'm finding since I've been doing this for over 10 years, and I find since I've been sober, uh, a lot of the carnies, my fellow show people, are, are there to reach out to me when they're having some addiction issues. So, you know, and all, all in all, that uh, you know, recovery is good. And uh, it's really enhanced my appreciation of what it means to be a priest. And I thank God for
the sobriety that I first discovered at Guest House. Actually, the first time I was there was the last time that I was there, so thank God. Uh, I'm at the point now that I'm just over seven years sobriety, and uh, I have done two detoxes within a six-month period and uh, was a highly functioning alcoholic. I was at the tail end of uh, uh, building a brand new church, $8.2 million uh, contract, and uh, it was just getting out of hand, my drinking. I was uh, drinking at least a fifth of hard liquor a day, and it was catching up with me, and my health had gone right downhill to the point that it uh, was uh, literally killing me. So I asked the bishop for help, and uh, on that day, March 13th, 2005, I basically said to the bishop, I got a problem with alcohol, what do you want me to do? And he ended up uh, suggesting that I go to guest house, and that started me on the road to recovery. He, uh, when he was speaking to me when I was in the hospital detoxing, uh, I had asked him would it be possible to do an outpatient type of treatment and uh, he told me straight forward that he's had great success with the guest house and that was the only place that he wanted me to go in order to help me to get better. My uh, message would simply be not to be afraid to ask for help. I, I was grateful that uh, the point in my own addiction history that uh, nothing else could be done and it didn't matter who was telling me that uh, I had a drinking problem based on this uh, close family members even our, my bishop wasn't aware that I had a drinking problem uh, but literally I was in a living hell towards the end didn't know what to do who to turn to and when I ended up in the hospital a second time for alcohol poisoning, I simply had enough and I asked for help and the, uh, my basic message is don't be afraid to ask for help. I was uh, very happy with the support that I received from my uh, bishop. Uh, he's now retired uh, for about the last year and a half, uh, but even in his retirement that he continues to uh, periodically check up on me, see how I'm doing. Uh, and he was uh, helpful when I got back, uh, making sure that the posting that I had was not too much for me. I was uh, grateful that I was able to return uh, to the parish that I was uh, constructing, uh, that, and I continued to be the pastor there in the brand new church. Uh, he had that confidence in me that uh, the treatment would continue to be helping me on that ongoing recovery. And the marvelous thing that I found is the support that I received from parishioners. I was up front uh, with them uh, when I got back of where I was and what the problem was. And if anything, uh, people warmed up to me more because they were able to see that even priests can have problems like anybody else in no matter what walk of life or what background that you might have and if anything that uh, they found me more compassionate and approachable as a result of uh, my ongoing recovery. And I'm grateful that I've kept my uh, connection with guest hosts. I'm happy with the ongoing materials that I receive from them and I make a point of uh, at least once a year either attending alumni uh, retreats that are offered on a yearly basis. I've on a yearly basis also the last few years been going to the um, uh, conferences that they offer for alumni regional seminars and plus also the uh, bigger conferences that they offer for bishops and uh, religious orders and I find all of these different uh, events are helpful with my ongoing recovery in addition to uh, the work that I'm doing in my uh, home base, uh, working with alcoholics and addicts and first and foremost helping me to continue to grow in my own recovery. As I continue uh, to learn more about the, the 
disease of alcoholism and other drug addictions I'm discovering, especially among uh, clergy, religious, and also, I hate to say it, among religious leaders, that there's a lot of uh, uh, lack of information out there about how serious addiction matters can be, uh, especially for clergy and religious, and uh, that's why I'm grateful that uh, Guest House is doing an outreach, uh, trying to get the message forward, because I'm finding among my own colleagues in the priesthood uh, a great deal of lack of information about uh, the disease of alcohol, alcoholism and addiction, and uh, the more information one can receive, the better, and it can in turn help uh, one to deal uh, with priests and religious that may be struggling silently uh, with addiction in their lives. And I, so I would hardly endorse, no matter who is listening to this, uh, to use the opportunities that are presented to you uh, to learn. And I've, I've been ama amazed at how much I've learned uh, about recovery uh, over the last number of years, and it, it's continuing to help me to stay sober myself a day at a time.